Gwyneth Paltrow, the founder of lifestyle brand Goop, recently expressed her feelings of disappointment regarding comparisons between her brand and Kourtney Kardashian's venture Poosh. Paltrow's candid admission sheds light on the complexities of entrepreneurship and the emotional toll having one's work likened to that of another. However, amidst Paltrow's revelation, a wave of controversy unfolds as discussions arise regarding the nature of competition and imitation in the world of lifestyle brands. While some sympathize with Paltrow's sentiments, others question the validity of her reaction, emphasizing the competitive nature of the industry and the inevitability of comparisons between similar ventures. Critics argue that Paltrow's expression of being upset over comparisons between Goop and Poosh overlooks the broader context of market competition and consumer choices. They highlight the prevalence of similar products and services in various industries, pointing out that comparisons and similarities are commonplace and do not necessarily diminish the value of individual brands. Conversely, supporters of Paltrow commend her vulnerability in acknowledging her emotional response to the comparisons between Goop and Poosh. They empathize with her feelings of disappointment, emphasizing the personal investment and dedication that entrepreneurs pour into their ventures, making them susceptible to emotional reactions when faced with perceived challenges or setbacks. The controversy surrounding Paltrow's remarks prompts reflections on the nuances of entrepreneurship and the emotional complexities involved in building and protecting one's brand. It raises questions about the extent to which individuals can claim ownership over ideas and concepts in a competitive market landscape, highlighting the blurred lines between inspiration and imitation. As discussions continue to unfold, Paltrow's admission serves as a catalyst for broader conversations about the dynamics of entrepreneurship and the challenges faced by individuals in establishing and maintaining their brands. It prompts reflections on the importance of resilience and adaptability in navigating competitive markets, while also acknowledging the emotional toll of being in the public eye. Ultimately, while Paltrow's reaction may spark debate, it also offers an opportunity to delve deeper into the intricacies of entrepreneurship and brand building. Her candid admission invites discussions about the emotional side of business and the importance of empathy and understanding in navigating the complexities of competition and comparison in the ever-evolving landscape of lifestyle brands.